Hello everyone, welcome to another fantasy match preview and I have two super special guests with me to preview the first India vs South Africa game. Piyush Bhai and Nikhil Bhai, I think all of you have been telling me since long that it's time to bring both of them on one forum together. And here we are for the first India-South Africa preview. How are you both doing? Thank seniors you, sir. Thank you. Yes, seniors first. Uh, but yes, always great to share space with uh, Piyush Bhai. Uh, we all know, but it has to be said. Inspiration for many to take up this as a profession. Sir, pleasure Absolutely. is all right. Without a doubt. I think yeah. when I started playing fantasy, after a certain point, when I saw banners of Piyush Bhai, I was like, Ek baar agar ye kaam kiya humne, to ek video to inke saath zaroor karenge. And finally, after chasing him for a bit, he said he will surely do it for the India-South Africa series. So I'm so happy to have him here too. And uh, starting with the... the... I wish I had my actual <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, starting off the preview, one question that I have to both of you guys, we are seeing with India series, presser after presser, Rohit Sharma has been saying that he's going to experiment and he's going to try different things across series, which we also saw in the Australia series. Now, what do you guys feel with just three games to go? These are like the final three dress rehearsals. Will he actually experiment more or can we actually see some discipline in terms of the bowler usage or in the planning across these three games as far as playing 11s? and batting bowling orders are concerned. This is a um, This game is already quite complicated from fantasy point of view and if you yeah. start experimenting, which of course he will, it will become <laughs> even more difficult. So, I wish Jaisa chal rahe, chal ta rahe. <laughs> uh, just, just to add to that one point, uh, Bhai, have you felt that this year in particular, We've seen a lot of games not always go by data or by normal logic or pattern. So how do you combat such uh, scenarios? Because of late, it has happened very often. Usually, you say to 10 from 7 games, you go to the data. But now, that number, I think, has stopped at 5 or 6. So it's still a massive difference in the long, uh, you know, long data form. So how do you try to cover that? I think when you're looking at data, uh, of course, sample size we both matter. Mm -hmm. So if you're playing in UAE, we have a lot of sample size available. Mm -hmm. data hai, wahan pe itne matches ho chuke but when you're playing uh, at a venue like this, wahan pe data hai nahi, to aap do -teen matches ke according bahut zyada ja bhi nahi sakte. So a lot depends on the sample size as well. Right. So maybe in this case, I feel like form would be the ideal parameter for us to yeah. pick and drop our players along with the fact that what kind of role they have. Example, if we go if with only five bowlers in a team, it's easier for us to opt with that kind of a bowler versus a team which has seven or eight options. Form and of course, toss. Toss is a very crucial <laughs> factor. Almost a deciding factor. But South Africa has been quite good as, uh, while defending a total game. Yeah. In fact, they have not lost a single game this year. Yeah. Well, that's a that's a number to keep in mm -hmm. mind. And on that note, we'll start looking at four games. <laughs> Catch. That's so, like I think looking at the amount of sample size we have, I feel like three or more games might be a decent number, if not the cracking mm -hmm. or sitting number altogether. Yeah. So, looking at our base setup for this game, first up in the keeping section, I feel like Quinton Dickock will be the ideal choice, especially with musical chairs on uh, Karthik and Pun's position. Any differential thoughts here, especially with Klassen having some good matchups against our spinners? No, Quinton Dickock is, is obviously an automatic choice, wicket keeping, opening, and almost a very good captain's choice as well, even though he's been not in the best of form. but yeah, I think uh, Quinter definitely up uh, SL team to build cool on get class in maybe if you feel while batting first, if you want to take a risk and you mm -hmm. hope K, uh, you know Quinton falls early, then class in becomes a very big differential, but only for mini grand leaps, not for small. Leaps. And of course, if you're expecting rain. Oh, that uh, <laughs> class in is a rain specialist. I'll want people to go and search why that is. <laughs> Absolutely. So that rounds up the keeping section for us. 
when you look at the batting section i I'll, i'll start by picking the default picks and then we'll hear both their thoughts so rohit sharma and virat kohli default picks from here third pick guys uh, do you feel like you will back surya based on form or kl based on batting position or you will go like nikhil bhai says fully jay mata di with someone like stubbs or babuma nikhil bhai नहीं जय माता दी फर्स्ट गेम तो वैसे भी जय माता दी होती है तो आई थिंक फॉर्म के हिसाब से डेफिनेटली स्टिल बैक सूर्या वॉट आई एम ऑल्सो वेरी इंटरेस्टेड टू सी एज पीयूष बाई सेट टॉस इज वेरी क्रिटिकल तो मिलर देन प्लेज अ वेरी की रोल क्योंकि इंडिया में द लास्ट सीरीज दैट यू प्ले वी सॉ ही वॉज रियली वेरी गुड इन टर्म्स ऑफ एनी प्ले दिस बोलिंग वेरी ऑफन तो उनका एक्सपीरियंस वो यू सॉफ्ट spot i jaga vaisi bhi huge bhai ka so he'll tell more for that but uh, i think that factor becomes a very key pick for the third guy kyunki rohit se mujhe ab uh, i'll be very honest unki jo fantasy potential hai mujhe lagta hai ab hmm. chal jate hain to bahut badhiya hai but it's more a high risk kind of a pick now kyunki he's playing shots every ball almost so fir you have to be very sure ke hum wo chalenge and then uh, you can take him else you want to kind of a bank agar aapko small league le chahiye so again uh in gdi and kagishor bada new threat against him and virat kohli averaging just 15 while batting for against south africa and he's yet to be discussed why he's saying again samuel sai with just two innings so uh, i don't think uh, you can pick all three if you are looking for a balanced combination to ek to drop hmm. yeah theek hai so both of them have given me a mixed opinion here and keeping Nein, that in ek, mind ek opinion to fix hai ki we expect new ball weekends so right. that is hmm. the kind of fortune that we likinge will probably pick one number 3 or hmm. a number 1 or one of the openers and you pick the mid order for both sides because we expect wickets to fall early. and with the kind right. of approach luke is playing ab pata hai wo har bar nahi click karne wala hai is is taking hmm. a very high risk approach aur jitna koi risky khelta hai it becomes jitna aggressively khelta hai it becomes very risky in fantasy so maybe you can take a chance on rohit sharma especially he's chasing or someone like kl rahul especially flungi needs to think right so the formula from both of them here is new ball wickets plus rohit sharma high risk intent plus kl rahul out of form so maybe this is the game where you can back your middle order batters yeah. so this is our risky pick then from your virat kohli and surya kumar yadav and maybe from south africa one of miller or tristan stubbs any temptation on a fourth batter here or are we continuing to be bowler and all rounder fc uh riza is quite uh, quite an interesting choice with recent jo form hai uh, hmm. you cannot think about riza at all he's been scoring runs quite consistently in, in fact mai just abhi preview karke aa raha hu 10 innings mein last 40 50 70 90 consistently runs kar rahe hain even that england series and then he played uh, against ireland and then the namibia global t20 so he's hmm. been quite consistent but uh, will he score against india maybe still you know thoda sa doubt for small leagues ke liye but if you're playing grand leagues definitely you should consider visa with the kind of form he's in right now right so i guess we round up the batting section then for now and we can come back here if we feel like we need a fourth pick looking at the all rounders again we start with the obvious picks dwayne pretorius akshar patel is a pick i think that what what debate not in terms of his recent form which has obviously been great but i feel like he does have some negative matchups against this whole south african lineup whether you look at decock miller or classin so any thoughts here on if you feel is a differential drop or do you guys feel like based on form there's no reason for us to make any magic castles who is risky to drop but you have enough reasons to not make him captain you have quentin decock mm. miller and even riley russo who's likely to mm. bat in the three or number four depending on how um, south africa goes this game because there's a lot of combinations that they can try they can try babuma at number three have riza so thoda difficult hoga combination kya hoga but still it will be uh, 
I I'll not be tempted to make him captain in this game at least hmm. with the kind of जो बैटिंग स्ट्रक्चर है फिलहाल क्योंकि इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया आपको पता था ऑस्ट्रेलिया में सिर्फ एक लेफ्ट हैंड थे वेट तो इट वाज इजीयर टू मेक हिम कैप्टन और वाइस कैप्टन बट अगेन साउथ अफ्रीका टीम में रखो कैप्टन थोड़ा सा मुश्किल बिल्कुल बिल्कुल एंड यहां पे उल्टा यू कुड पोटेंशियली टेक अ रिस्क ऑन अश्विन इफ ही प्लेस बिकॉज़ देयर आर प्लेंटी ऑफ लेफ्ट हैंडेड बैट्स एंड द थिंग इज ही विल स्टिल बोल जो अक्सर के साथ मुझे बहुत ऐसा कभी कभी लगता है कि the captain's usage is very important for people like aksar i don't think hmm. one use him well uh, i think that is well documented with the lalitya but uh, i think even for the form of that like dwayne cretulius cpl mein agar aap dekhen to he hasn't got the number of wickets on ki bowling mein it's been like a mix he's tried wide yorkers and he's tried very different stuff to so wickets hmm. once nahi milenge but we know ke bhai dwayne cretulius india mein aayenge uh, he batted at 3 So, I don't think abhi I don't think wo zarurat hai kyunki they have enough uh, batters up top to wo hmm. shayad lagta hai that is one place also to experiment ki agar second bowling kar rahi hai brain pretorius to maybe you can take a risk on him uh, but again you have to be very sure of the number of bowling options they have for that but actually right, could go with akshar patel is the fact if india still go with just the five bowlers akshar patel ki yeah. left hand option is still hmm. in bowling form hi hoga in that case if they go after him uh, ho sakta hai shayad wo negative match up unke favor mein chala jaye Hmm, maybe like a two for forty-five sort of day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As a fantasy player, we are extremely greedy, <laughs> selfish. All we care about. Yeah, for example, yeah, minus change. Yeah, 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 change. But bowling first, but of course, because he's their specialist, so the bowler you yeah. have to pick him bowling first. Yeah. Right. And now that we're talking about all-rounders, one point that I wanted to discuss with Hardik not being present. Do you guys see India actually using a six bowling option or playing a six bowler, or maybe just using someone like Virat with the ball? <laughs> <laughs> I hope. I hope we don't go down that route. Because World Cup के पहले अगर Virat Kohli bowling करते हुए injured हो गए, तो भाई बॉल हो नहीं बहुत कुछ और हो जाएगा फॉर है आपको उनका कोई रिप्लेसमेंट है ही नहीं आपके पास तो इसीलिए इतने वैल्यूएबल है इस साइड में वो क्योंकि आप किसी भी तरीके से वो कॉम्बिनेशन एक दीपक हुडा थे जो की आप उनको रिप्लेस करके और आपको सिक्स बोलिंग ऑप्शन देते बट वो भी नहीं है तो पांच ही बोलर रहने वाले Right, so maybe while that increases the headaches for India, it reduces one headache for us in terms of picking the team. And uh, looking at the bowling side of things, again our obvious picks from here become Rabada, Bumra. Now I have one point to discuss here. Both of you discussed that Nokia would have positive matchups against some of our top order batters. But would you feel like if he's bowling second, you'll take someone like Shamsi because again he's that kind of bowler who you want to go after. and then you concede a set of wickets too so how do you guys approach that if they're bowling second and bowling first then surely not okay i think a lot depends on the due as well uh hmm. last series baat kare to uh, he had a very poor series just purely because of shreyas iyer because he right. smashed all over uh, he's averaging 63 against him strike rate of 190 but shreyas iyer is unlikely to start so hmm. which definitely increases shamsi's fantasy value so if he's bowling second and we're expecting that is there not be a lot of view uh, hmm. you can definitely try shamsi while bowling second at least in grand leagues right fair enough so for now we go with noki in this section now we have two picks left how do you guys feel like you want to balance this out do you feel like ashdeep would be the 10th pick especially if he's bowling first or you look at an in- another indian spin up so i'll definitely pick harshal patel so harshal patel yeah. will be there in the base uh, base team Uh, seven wickets against this side, uh, strike rate less mm. than 10, and I feel that he bowled uh, really well in that 20th over against Australia. So yeah. I think he'll have confidence there, and he'll be a short shot pick in my side. So here, I'm just saying one thing. If you want to discuss, how do you pick between Bumrah and Ashdeep? Because I don't think you can pick three Indian pacers right now. Uh, so if you want to decide between say Bumrah and Ashdeep, how would you decide who to pick first? Because teams are playing at Bumrah. तो यू नीड अ वेरी गुड बॉल फ्रॉम 
you need someone agar aapko replacement chahiye avneshwar deepak chair is like for like replacement mm-hmm. roles more with the new ball and then you have harshal and bumra bumra again all face bowler and harshal is your uh, specialist at the bowler so i don't think ashdeep uh, will feature especially with this combination ki saath mein harshal aur bumra dikhe aapko very unlikely right and how do you approach harshal if he is bowling second because like you're saying he bowled well at the death in the first innings but would you still go with him in the second innings or then would you ramp up the indian batting or all-rounder section so interestingly all those seven wickets that he picked against south africa they came while bowling second to so bowling first wow. the khele khele. and uh, a lot depends on the due as well and uh kya aap expect kar rahe ho match kaisa jane wale hmm. if you expect india to win and he's bowling second then you still need harshal patel in your side because if india are going to win and harshal patel is definitely going to pick a wicket or two even uh, bowling second so let lot depends on how you are envisaging how this game can go so harshal patel bowling second is of course a good choice as well right so like piyush bhai is mentioning second innings harshal versus south africa a lot will depend on your visualization and how you feel the game will pan out like if you feel india is going to set up a big score batting first then batting second at the death south africa in the middle and the death are bound to lose a set of wickets so that can play a role now on to our 11th pick and this one is a nickel by coach who do you feel is your 11th pick because ashwin i don't know if you are fitting him in as an all-rounder or a pure bowler no not like in this particular combination i think if i want hmm. to risk him i'll probably risk him for akshar patel hmm. so uh, yahan pe i'll still probably want one more batter from the indian side to kyunki hardik nahi hai very interested to see how they slot in uh, that differential pair with deepak hooda bhi available nahi hai aapke paas so i am not very tempted to take one of rohit or rahul to wo to entirely a gut feel call ho jayega ki bhai agar mujhe lagta hai ki rohit forward batting mein chal jayenge so then hmm. i'll pick him nahi to i'll i might take a risk with uh, the keeper whoever plays kyunki uh, they don't usually they don't bowl shamsi at the death or uh, agar sirf pace hai so i'll want dk i'm sure they'll want dk to get enough time facing pace bowling at the death so phir i might risk there kyunki mera point sirf ye hai ki wahan se aapko easily boundaries aur sixers ke points mile dk hmm. rotate nahi karne wala zyada so maybe that could be a line of thought that i'll try so yeah ek batter shayad main wahan se waise do uh, could be I'm, i don't think pant me lunga kyunki south africa troubled pant a lot so Maharaj. i definitely ha huh, so yeah that wide outside of line uh, agar pant khelte hain to shayad main mini grinding ko definitely try karunga hmm. par agar first batting hai to shayad kartik ya rohit mein se koi ek mai pick kar right very fair call so for now dinesh kartik is our 11th pick one line of thought here if south africa is batting first i feel like they also might end up use we saw in the 100 how much stubs off spin was used so maybe you might see that happening even though india very right hand dominated but if any of the south african bowlers get hit that is a possibility for you to now on to captaincy vice captaincy we have some differentiating thoughts here because there's no hardik so there's no obvious captaincy choice but do you guys feel like pretorius if he's bowling first or would that record be a dif- uh, thought that would differ for you in this scenario i'm very tempted to go with harshal patel if he's bowling first um he i he was my captain the first game as well in that 8 over game he went to kidless and i still feel there's a lot of value with harshal patel especially because i'm not going uh, because i'm not going with the batsman and thoda sa risky lag raha hai harshal patel still i feel is one of the safer options if he's bowling first so yeah harshal right so the call is harshal if india is bowling first even though all his wickets have come bowling second and that tells you how visualization actually works when you look yeah. at fantasy and bowling first for south africa do you guys feel like pretorius makes the fit because he's practically going to be their death bowler along with rabada and list they plan to use nokia in that phase yes so i think that will yeah, yeah what is the death for south africa it's either win mm. pretorius or uh, mm. someone like i mean gd or even alex nokia so rabada doesn't yeah. bowl a lot of death for them yeah. yes i think if south africa bowl first mai ek combination definitely try karunga jahan pe green and quinton are my combination but i'm expecting runs from uh, quinton up top kyunki chase usually easy hota hai agar due hai to and quinton loves playing against india to so, usko start mil gayi to fir aapko 40 50 run aur ek do catches aasani se mil jayenge and if duane is bowling at the death so that becomes a very good combination and if india is bowling first jaise kushbhai ne bola harshal patel hain 
तो डेफिनेटली आप उनके साथ जा सकते वॉइस कैप्टन और सूर्या एज ए वॉइस कैप्टन सूर्या के साथ वो ये कि यू हैव टू बी श्योर कि उन्हें इनफ बैटिंग मिलेगी अब अगर जैसा हमने एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हैं कि न्यू बॉल विकेट्स देन ही बिकम्स अ वेरी गुड ऑप्शन फॉर वाइस कैप्टन Right. So basically, from what we can conclude here, Harshal Pretorius would become sort of default options. Rabada will bowl in an enforcing phase at the power play against some batters that he has favorable matchups again. Maybe a over at the death, maybe not. But for now, these are our default picks. And then if you if South Africa is bowling first, you can probably interchange CVC. Or if Harshal is bowling second, and if you're not too confident, you might go with someone like Surya as vice captain based on form. so yep. that is our setup for our base team now let's hear one strong and maybe less than 20% differential pick from both of them because they are known to do some crazy stuff in grand league so let's hear it one one pick from both of you uh i think i'll go with stubs uh purely basis uh, you know the it. kind of and stubs are but he's not picked now we didn't pick him in the base team <laughs> so uh and the thing is it's the first game तो फर्स्ट गेम में बेसिकली यू आर नेवर ऑलवेज श्योर के दिस इज द एग्जैक्ट लेवन विल प्ले तो समी लाइक लूंगी नगरी इफ यू प्लेस वेरी गुड पोटेंशियल डेरी डिड दैट इन द इंग्लैंड सीरीज एज वेल बट वो ये कि उनका यूसेज बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाता है विद लूंगी सही से यूज करें तो ही गेट्स यू थ्री फॉर वेरी इजीली तो लूंगी कुड बी वन ऑप्शन एंड स्टब्स द सेकंड फॉर इंडिया आई थिंक दिनेश कार्तिक सर ऑलरेडी वो रिस्क ले लिया है कि अगर वो पहले बॉलिंग करते हैं पहले बैटिंग करते हैं दिनेश कार्तिक आई एम माइट बी टेम्पटेड और अश्विन तो आपके पास है ही जो प्रायज है जो प्लेयर्स है दिनेश कार्तिक क्रिस्टन स्टब्स इनका टीम डेविड इनका एग्जांपल यही यही है कि दे गिव यू रन्स एंड एक्स्ट्रा पॉइंट्स विद द बाउंड्रीज तो वो 20 भी मारे तो भी उनको आपको 30 40 पॉइंट्स मिल जाते हैं बिकॉज़ दे हिट बाउंड्रीज तो आई थिंक वैसे भी आप देख सकते हो डिफरेंशियल पिक्स फेयर इनफ लॉट ऑफ लॉजिक इवन इन द गट फील पिक्स ऑन टू पीयूष भाई पहले मैं भी चेक कर रहा था सिलेक्शन सरप्राइजिंगली मेरे लिए थोड़ी डिफरेंस चले अभी इस सिलेक्शन इज लेस देन नाइन परसेंट विच इज मतलब एब्सोल्यूटली शॉकिंग कंसिडरिंग इज हर्षल पटेल एक दो मैचेस खराब गए हैं बट स्टिल डेथ बोलर है इंडिया के लिए एक हंसेंट विकेट्स ले रहे हैं भले ही फोर्टी फिफ्टी चले जाए बट फर्क नहीं पड़ता है इफ इज गिविंग यू विकेट आउट दैट्स मोर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू एज फाइनसी प्लेयर सो हर्षल पटेल ऑफकोर्स एक अच्छे डिफरेंस चले दैन लूंगी इफ इज प्लेइंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एंड ऑफकोर्स इज बोलिंग फर्स्ट Lungi will be there in my side as well. Surprisingly, last series me bhi kafi open runs drop kiya tha me ko. Ah, uh, because two matches ke liye the dono me wickets mile the. So dono me dono hi matches me re side me bhi the and most likely he'll be there in my side in this game as well if he's bowling first. So these two and of course on current form you can try these as well. Who might not be uh, an actual differential considering his selection is around fifty sixty percent, but still we know that a lot of open runs are going to drop these. Are. So yeah, these three. right fair enough and something interesting that you can pick up from that analysis from piyush bhai is that when you pick your fantasy team generally you're looking at bowlers who might be stereotypically really good on the face maybe someone like rabada or someone like bumrah but keep in mind that when a team plays they try to not go after these typical bowlers and they go after the second or third pacer and those are the second and third pacers who are also going to be bowling at the death in these games so therefore amazing grandly captaincy vice captaincy choices and that pretty much sums up our preview any closing thoughts from both of you before we close this preview don't underestimate south africa they are very good side uh, in fact uh, abhi tak hum home series jeete nahi south africa yeah. so the only side against which uh, our winning percentage is less than 50 at home so don't underestimate them in fact if they are bowling first i might actually go with six five south africa I don't think the record also tells you anywhere कि भाई आपको confident भी होना चाहिए कि you know that India will be easily uh, winning. So because recent series only we saw जो East से uh, Miller और uh, Rashi ने दोया, uh, there were enough signs कि there is lot of scope to work. So but also makes you a very interesting game क्योंकि majority public फिर भी India favour बना के ही आए. So अगर आप confident हो आपकी visualisation के बारे में, तो yes please go ahead and do that क्योंकि First games are always, you know, either you are top or fourth. So uh, hopefully more of us are on the top. Uh, but right, one thing right. is also India can recently the first game we recorded with Khas Acha Nee Rai. So that's one added insight that uh, I think you should definitely consider while creating a team because 
पहले मैचेस के अंदर बायोलिट्रल्स में अगर वो शायद वेस्ट इंडीज वाला मैच हटा दें तो बाकी में बहुत ज्यादा अच्छी परफॉर्मेंस नहीं रही उसके बाद मस्ट विन गेम्स में हमने जीते हैं बट फर्स्ट मैच थोड़ा सा अच्छा नहीं गया टू मेनी इनसाइड्स सो अलोंग अलोंग विद पीयूष भाई 65 साउथ अफ्रीका इंडिया टीम एंजॉय यू मेक वन और टू 74 इन द जीएल2 दैट्स द दैट्स व्हाट द क्लोजिंग थॉट्स शुड बी देयर टू so thank you so much to both of you for coming and doing this it was really great to have both of you here and like always i get to learn a lot and too many insights i hope all of you enjoyed this and before you leave this video please ensure you leave a comment on who you feel will be your gut feel player the gl pick for this specific game so that we get to learn a little bit from you too thank you yeah. so much to all of you for tuning in and we hope we could help thank, thank you. you so much sir.